Okay, in today's lecture, we're going to discuss the class F power amplifier. And the class, class F power amplifier primarily relies on harmonic terminations in order to improve the efficiency of the amplifier. Now, the class F amplifier is generally a switching amplifier. And like all switching amplifiers, we're going to rely on doing some pulse shaping in order to create non-overlapping voltage and current waveforms at the drain, like so. So what we have here are waveforms that represent a half rectifying sine wave for a. So what we have here are waveforms that recti. So what we have here are waveforms that represent a half rectified sine wave for the current waveform at the drain and a square waveform for the voltage at the drain. So if we do some basic Fourier analysis on these pulse shapes, we can figure out what we need to do in order to create the waveforms. The voltage waveform is represented by the DC component, VDD, plus the sum from n equals zero to infinity of one over two to the n plus one times sine of two to the n plus one times theta. In other words, the sum of all the odd harmonics of the waveform. The half rectified current waveform is the DC component of the current plus the sum of one over two to the two times n times the quantity cosine two n of theta. In other words, the summation of all of the even harmonics of the waveform. Now, this results in a half rectified sine wave for the current and a square wave for the voltage. And it's important to note that these waveforms don't overlap in the time domain, meaning that no instantaneous power is burned at the drain of the transistor. We can continue on with the analysis to find the DC current the fundamental current, the DC voltage, and the fundamental voltage, which will help us to find the efficiency of the amplifier. Solving the integrals for the DC current and fundamental current across one period of the waveform results in a DC current of Is divided by pi and a fundamental current of Is divided by 2. Solving for the DC voltage and fundamental voltage yields a DC value of VDD and a fundamental value of 4 VDD over pi. Efficiency of the PA can be found by dividing the power delivered at the fundamental frequency divided by the DC power. And this would be the product of the RMS values of the current and voltage at the fundamental and divided by the DC power, which is the product of the DC voltage and current. Due to the non-overlapping wave nature of the waveforms, the efficiency is 100% as expected. So how do we actually create these waveforms? Well, we're going to do it in a class F by using the proper impedance terminations at the harmonic frequencies. And we're going to have different terminations for even harmonics and odd harmonics. We need a high impedance for the odd harmonics because we want maximum voltage gain of the transistor at all these odd harmonics. The opposite is true. We need a low impedance for all even harmonics because we want maximum current at all of the even harmonics. We already found the relationship of the fundamental voltage and current, so we can find the optimum termination resistance for the class F amplifier. And from this, we can find the output power. All right, so the optimum termination resistance is eight over pi times VDD divided by IS. But what we need to find is IS. So here, let's find the output power. So the output power is the product of the RMS voltage and current uh, of the fundamental waveforms. And from this, we can invert uh, to find the value for IS with respect to output power and the supply voltage. We can substitute this back in to find the value of R opt with respect to output power and supply voltage. So the optimum termination resistance for a class F amplifier at the fundamental frequency is approximately 0.81 times VDD squared divided by P out. This is slightly better than for the class E. If you'll recall, the class E relationship for R opt was equal to 0.577 times VDD squared divided by P out. This means that a class F amplifier uses a slightly higher value of optimum termination resistance in order to deliver the same output power. So we'll see less losses in the matching network. 
if other things were equal. So a summary for this lesson is we know what the optimum termination resistance is for the amplifier. We'll call this Z1, 8 over pi squared times VDD squared over P out. And for all odd harmonics, we have a termination resistance or a desired termination resistance of infinity. And for all even harmonics, we have a desired termination resistance of zero ohms. Now, we'll note uh, that in the next lecture, we'll look at how we might create these types of terminations to create these impedances.